Well, guys, we did it. 100 subscribers, and hopefully many more in the future. Hit 100,000 channel views over the Christmas holidays. So that's amazing. Thank you very much for that. Of course, I couldn't have done it without you. So, in celebration of that, we're going to do just some, something a little bit special. And that is this. You get two different perspectives in one battle. Uh, so there's three of us platooning in this battle. Uh, all of us in FRU clan. So it, it should be good. <laughs> Put a lot of time into editing this one out. Uh, two and a half hours or so to, to actually render the whole thing. But now, I've got Bruiser's perspective and my own perspective in this. Right now, this is Bruiser in the IS-3. Uh, tank scope boom, as you may have seen at the beginning there, is the other platoon member. Uh, he's in the T-34 and I'm in the T-32. So all tier 8 heavies. And Bruiser is fighting it out, or trying to fight it out with another tank there. And he got away, just in time though. Now, I'm going to peek over this with the T-32, it having a real tough turret. I should be able to pick on somebody and not really be able to get hurt back too easy. Now, Bruiser's over there getting brave. He's rolling to the center, taking a risk. But, it should pay off. Picking on the little Frenchie as I continue to snipe a few different guys here and there. And you can see that I put up the map as well as tank health there for you too. So, just another thing I did for you guys. <laughs> Hopefully you appreciate all the work I put into to this video compared to some of the others. Um, oh, let's see if I can get this guy through a window. And... Gotcha! Now, a few more like that and maybe he'll be dead. And we continue to look around here. Not much is going on. Let's see. Can Bruiser see anyone there? Can I see anyone? No. Nope. Uh, I'm trying to position myself a little bit better to try to hit someone over to the right. But they're hidden anyway. And let's go around the corner. Follow Bruiser. And see what he can see. He can see tank eight, or, uh, sorry, tanks go boom. Going around the corner here. And looking at guys out on the tracks. Let's see if we can snipe anyone. Oh, maybe underneath the car, train cars? No. Oh, taking hits. Okay, that guy. Oh, maybe tanks can come in and finish him off. Looking at a guy to the left. Bruiser making sure he doesn't get in front of tanks' gun. That always hurts. <laughs> And will he reappear? Looks like he killed a teammate over there. Maybe not. Okay, who's over here? Who's over in this direction? We hit this guy, or is he just gonna shoot Bruiser? Oh, and fire. Ah, one down still lots to go. This battle gets pretty close at the end, I must say. It was a whole lot of fun. They both got more kills than me, but that's not a problem. Did pretty great in our platoon all together. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. We were, of course, talking to each other on the TeamSpeak server at this point. I think it was... Um, I was up till 7 a.m. that night playing with all these guys. And at this point, I think it was around 5 a.m. I could be mistaken, though. Uh, didn't quite hit him. But yeah, it was a whole lot of fun. Had three of us in a TeamSpeak server as well as a couple others. A few points throughout the night from the clan. Just a whole lot of fun talking to those guys. We don't do clan wars or anything, but that doesn't really matter because we have a whole lot of fun with just the random battles and platoons and maybe the occasional tank company in the future. Maybe someday we'll do uh, clan wars, but right now it's not really on the, agen on the agenda. We don't have enough players for that yet. Now, let's see what I'm doing over here. Oh, I see someone in the center. Maybe I can pick on someone else there. He was there a second ago. I know he's there. And let's take a closer look. Oh, can I get the artillery? Uh, nope. Friendly tank got in the way. I didn't want to risk shooting him. Now, Bruiser, in the meantime, has found a few tanks to get shot by. Or shoot! <laughs> shoot so far! 
Getting shot, I guess, is plan for the future. And right through. And now I'm trying to run away from these guys. Give you them the map and it went not back. Uh, I got shot in the back. That was right in the bottom of the rear. That's I'm lucky that didn't damage my engine or catch me on fire. But as Bruiser duels it out over there, I've got to take care of our base. Take care of the Super Pershing. Now, take a close look at the, what mistake this guy makes. Backing away from me, that's smart. But then he tracks me, which gives me a better chance to aim, and he turns aside. As soon as he does that, I'm able to hurt him. I just so happen to track him at the same time. And then from there, it's all over for him. Now, he'll face me, which is smart, but he wasn't moving at all. If he would have moved at a bit of a diagonal back and forth, just enough so that I couldn't shoot the side, but so that his front armor was forcing me to shoot there, then I would have had a whole lot of a hard, a whole lot more of a hard time trying to shoot that weak point in the corner of the turret. Now let's march back towards the center and see what other trouble we can find. Bruiser's still fighting it out over there, waiting for his moment. Oh, had a bit of a surprise attack from the artillery. Maybe you could hit him before he tucks around the corner, and he did. But it didn't quite kill him, which is unfortunate. It's quite a few times where you shoot artillery and it does nothing. Sometimes it knocks out their big gun, it seems like it's a big target, or it just tracks them. Let's see, can you hit this T 34? I believe it's a T 34. Not being able to see the tank listing. Oh, and Bruiser, oh, took a hit, but that didn't do any damage, just a damage track. It's not a big deal. And I'm rolling down the center here. I know I have my tough turret. Oh, Bruiser finishes off that artillery. Let's see. Wait for this guy to come around. Nope, he's smarter, smarter than that. But I'm sitting there thinking, oh, my turret's pretty tough. I don't have to worry about him shooting me. I wasn't too smart about that. I completely forgot that he can hit the hatches on the top of my turret. That's a pretty weak point. And Bruiser's peeking around at this low, trying to get shot off where he can't be shot back. And he succeeds. And I'm just being stupid trying to shoot the top of the, of the tank destroyer. That's the toughest part. Ooh, and Bruiser's just barely hanging on to life there. Not sure what hit him. Must have been artillery. Uh, I think at this point there was still one left. I'm sorry, you can't see the tank listing. I couldn't make that there without it... Uh, not looking too hot. Oh, I missed my shot completely. Hopefully we can surround him, but Bruiser can't just pop out. He can't afford to spare the hit points. He can't take any more hits. Now, can't see him now. Bruiser's going around the corner here. They try to peek over the mound and shoot the guy. But, goes up just a little too far and couldn't see. And while he couldn't see, taken out by the American Heavy. Now, moving up, trying to hide behind this T-29, the dead T-29. You can get a shot off on that tank destroyer. I know the lower half of them is weakest. Uh, I've got some allies coming around me. Really, I would have liked it if they would have flanked, gone towards where Bruiser was before, down the center. But, can't expect everything, I suppose. And shoot the G30, and oh, didn't sneak back quick enough. That cost me a few hit points. Now I probably can't survive another hit from anyone. Keep hiding behind that T29. It'll make some good, good defense. Good cover. And hit the. Oh, nope. I didn't intend to hit the tank destroyer there. I meant to hit the T34. Now it's the waiting game. Let's see how long we can wait. Let's see if we can wait these guys out, wait for them to make a stupid move. Uh, that's really the only choice I have now. Oh, there goes my last ally. Um, hmm, what do you think? Can I do it? Let's see, it's times like these where you wish something a little more would happen. Which I have a funny feeling something more does. Tried shooting the tank destroyer down low while he was rearranging himself. 
Oh, and look who's coming along. Oh. Now, should I worry about this guy? That's what I was wondering at this point. But I shoot him. Oh, completely missed. Go forward to ram him. He shoots me. The explosion, I think, is what killed himself. Him shooting me and the blast radius with high explosive shells. Hit the jag in the back. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm going to get yelled at it again for that. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Um, shot him in the back. Didn't kill him. That was lucky. That was lucky on his part. I'm not brave enough to go around, but I know that T-34 is going to try coming around and get me from the other side. And then there'll be nothing I can do about it. But I don't know what else I can do. If I try running, chances are the Jag is going to come along. And I've got to watch for this T-34 looking through the windows right now. Back it up into a corner. Try to angle my tank so that I have a chance if someone comes around either corner of them hitting my front armor and possibly bouncing. Although I know that both of their guns are good enough that my front hull armor doesn't stand a whole lot of a chance. Uh, just my turret might be able to hold them off. But my turret's too slow to really switch between two targets on demand. And trying to watch two people and including one that I can't see at the same time, can be pretty difficult. Oh, T-34, can I hit him? No. Well, it was a fun battle. Had a whole lot of fun playing with these guys. Uh, there'll be more of these in the future. I hope. <laughs> and until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Have a good one.